token-based authentication in ASP.NET Core. In ASP.NET Core applications, token-based authentication is a robust approach for securing web APIs and web applications. It eliminates the need to constantly transmit sensitive credentials like usernames and passwords between clients and the server. Here's a breakdown of the key concepts and implementation steps. Core Components Tokens, these are self-contained units of information, typically JSON Web Tokens, JWTs, that encapsulate user claims, identity attributes, and a signature. The server generates and signs the token upon successful user authentication. Clients, these can be web browsers, mobile apps, or other applications that interact with your ASP.NET Core API. Server, this is your ASP.NET Core application that handles user authentication, token issuance, and authorization checks. Workflow Client login, the client application sends the user's credentials, username and password to the server's login endpoint. Server authentication, the server validates the credentials using an identity provider, e.g., ASP.NET Identity, custom authentication logic. Token generation, if successful upon successful authentication, the server creates a JWT or a custom token format containing user claims, e.g., user ID, roles, and a signature using a cryptographic key. This signature ensures the token's integrity and prevents tampering. Token delivery, the server transmits the token back to the client application. Secure transmission methods like HTTPS are crucial. Client-side storage, the client application securely stores the token, e.g., in local storage, session storage, HTTP-only cookies with the secure flag. Subsequent requests, with each subsequent request to a protected resource, the client includes the token in the authorization header, typically following the bearer scheme, e.g., authorization, bearer of token. Server-side validation, the server receives the request, extracts the token from the authorization header, and validates it using the same cryptographic key. Authorization decision, if the token is valid, not expired, signature matches, the server grants access to the requested resource. Otherwise, it returns an unauthorized response, e.g., 401 unauthorized. Implementation steps. Install required packages, add the necessary NuGet packages for your chosen authentication provider and JWT functionality, e.g., Microsoft ASP.NET Core, authentication.jwt bearer, system identity model of tokens, JWT. Configure authentication services. In startup.cs, configure the authentication services using the add authentication and add JWT bearer methods in the configure services method. This involves specifying signing credentials, secret key, and token validation options. Create login endpoint. Implement an endpoint, e.g., slash login, that handles user login requests. Validate credentials, and upon success, generate a JWT using libraries like System Identity Model of Tokens, JWT. Secure token storage, store the generated JWT securely on the server side, avoid storing it in plain text. Use an environment variable or a dedicated key management solution for the signing secret. Protect endpoints, apply authorization filters or middleware to protect specific API endpoints, ensuring only authenticated users with valid tokens can access them. Additional considerations. Refresh tokens. Implement a mechanism for refreshing access tokens before they expire. This can involve using long-lived refresh tokens that are exchanged for new access tokens without requiring the user to re-enter credentials frequently. Security best practices. Always use HTTPS to ensure secure communication between clients and the server. Maintain strong password policies and regularly rotate cryptographic keys. Error handling, implement proper error handling for invalid tokens, expired tokens, or unauthorized access attempts. Token revocation, consider mechanisms for revoking tokens, such as blacklisting tokens or implementing token lifetime management. 